Welcome Traveller, I'm free to play and I'm your guide to a successful free to play adventure on Osterra. Today you will learn why Hell weapons are way stronger than Fortune weapons with the newest update to Bestora of all. So veterans to COTC have read this sentence at least once. Limit from support and equipment skills affect 30%. And from the beginning of Pistara of All, you maybe wondered why the damage is still increased with the Hell weapons. So units like Xanta or Yunlung, who already kept their damage to 30% because of their passives, won't profit from that, won't they? But doesn't it seem like a bug now that if you update a Hell weapon to level 2, its damage against Hell fiends will increase to 20% now? Okay, wait, let's test this now. When I use exactly one of those units I already talked about, an attack with almost maxed out fortune weapons weapons and afterwards with the newest hell weapons. You can clearly see the difference. Those damage on hell fiends is not involved in the same damage formula as the one you knew. So with the newest update to Bestora of All 3, we got two slots of the Sun Souls now, which means that we can slot in those Silver Souls here two times. Well, why would you want that? Not because of the rare effects, but because of the common effects. Increase damage to hell fiends up to 10%. So having a BOA 3 weapon on level 2 and two of those souls at maximum potency is increasing damage against hell fiends now by 40%. But wait, aren't there silver souls which also have those effects but rare instead? Exactly! The wrathful steadfast soul has increased damage to hell fiends by up to 14% and the blissful brutus soul goes even higher to 16%. And with BOA 3 finally released we can also acquire golden sun souls now which have exactly the same names but more potency. And these golden souls can be slotted in once in every thorned weapon, meaning 56% damage increase in the end, if you were lucky with the roads. But the resources are limited here. Normally sun souls drop very often and you can get lots of those, alas having lots of tries getting 10% on damage up in no time, because it's a common effect. The blissful or even the wrathful soul rarely drop from the monsters in BOA and can finally be exchanged in BOA 3. Thus, having the right effect to cure is still not an easy job, because you'll need lots of soul charts for getting enough of them for all of those weapons you want to power up. You can exchange golden soul boxes now for 80 soul charts instead of drawing the souls you want for double the charts, if you want to just have the common effects of the souls to improve the damage from 10% minimum. This feels like a good trade, but you have to consider that boxes also drop person souls, which you don't want anymore. Just buy the souls you want and you're good. So I'd suggest you to get at least 10% on the weapons you're using in hell and every time you can grasp the blissful or wrathful soul you can try it out, boosting the damage even beyond that to make the first step from 40% to 56%. But why are fortune weapons so hyped or have been introduced to co to c even when we're mainly in hell right now? Well, there were events like the master training tower where fortune weapons have a better use for because of their damage done to living enemies by 10%. But apart from that, it doesn't seem like you should use them at all in hell, shouldn't you? Or are these specific units which should prefer using a fortune weapon anyway now? The answers are simple. Any unit who has mixed stats or even has accessories which boost another stat of what you would typically think of, like Tequilin, which can hit really hard now as a wind DPS, and with BOA3 you can finally get her rainbow souls from the exchange to get her desired skills stronger now fast. Or Yan Long, where the rods never increased as much in attack. Or you want to make characters like Eliza a better light caster than Odette. Jill Mella, a dark magician which hits one more time than Primrose. Or Azlite, an ice DPS which can contribute to the damage output and not just breaking the enemy for additional ice risk down. So if units have not the right weapons for having their full potential unleashed, should equip their fortune weapons, even in hell. Damage output in hell seems to get stronger and stronger. Think about what will happen if hell weapons reach level 3 or more and the damage will still be increased by additional 10%. This is just nuts. But maybe there will be coming really tough opponents you need the adjustments for at the end of Pistora of All or in between with the level 100 NPC duo. So why not prepare for them and boost your weapons as hard as possible so that you can withstand most of the challenges which await you with the further updates. So if you'd like to build better fortune weapons for your units I mentioned earlier, this video will come in handy for you. And if you'd like this channel to class up, I really appreciate a subscription and thumbs up. See you next time, you're free to play.